the me mount it TV stand well the big TV on a tripod so it's a tilting TV mount with a portable tripod stand the MI 874 37 to 70 inch fits most uh, maximum VESA standard is 600 by 400 millimeters holding up to 35 kilograms or 77 pounds uh, there's the listing of the various VESA mounts it will do uh, three times strength tested so the idea is that if it's uh, rated at 77 pounds it'll do three times that and still be safe and it's got a zero to eight degree tilt on it so what the heck am I gonna do with this thing well a little while ago the TV in my home office uh, started randomly shutting off now I am in working out of this home office for several more months yet probably and um, I was doing some mission critical type work on it and uh, using a laptop into it and it would randomly shut down um, basically it would just turn off on its own sometimes it would come back right away sometimes it'd be hours before it worked properly and it was random it'd go a week where it worked fine and then I couldn't get through an afternoon without working properly so something needed to be done there and I replaced that TV with a, an inexpensive model of same size um, from Costco but the other TV still works mostly if I'm not using it for something mission critical where it shuts off occasionally won't matter that much so I started thinking well what do we do with this thing um, so figured we would get this mount and we should be able to do some stuff with it. I can have it by the treadmill to watch shows while I'm running, or um, maybe we can take it out by the pool, slap, slap like an Amazon Fire Stick on it. It's not a smart TV, the one we got. Um, slap an Amazon Fire Stick on it and you know, watch shows by the pool, maybe? Interesting uh, ideas, something to try. Uh, fairly inexpensive thing I bought from Amazon, so it was worth uh, the experiment. So anyway, let's pop this thing open and we'll see what it's like. Okay, let's start popping this open. I'm assuming it's just going to be an open on one hand here and uh, slide it out. I suspect, based on the pictures on the uh, on Amazon, that it's going to be in two pieces. But let's take a look here. Maybe we get this where I can actually see it. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it's a piece of cardboard pop out. What do we got here? Little box. Let's see what's in the little box. Okay, so what do we got? Okay. Yeah. Not much there in that cardboard. Uh, so yeah, so we got a little uh, little wrench tool for tightening all the bolts that come with it, I'm sure. Yeah, some bolts and nuts. A package of those that Looks like they, uh, yeah, the, it's a bunch of them, different sizes, and the bag is ripped. Yeah. And then bracket, obviously, for screwing stuff together. The dog panting in the background because it's near supper time. Okay, so what do we got here? This is the tripod. It looks good. Yeah, so, we'll take that apart and take a look at that in a minute. What else is in here? We should have the brackets that attach it to a TV in here somewhere. One more box in here. Okay. So what's there? So this would be the rails to attach it to a TV, I'm sure. Yeah, so there's the one main rail that I assume this will attach to the tripod. And in here must be bolts. So everything put it together, all the bolts and everything. Some washers, some covers for the bolts. And these will be the two rails. Two of these. Uh, so the different uh, sizes. So that's how you can have the variety of vessel mounts is that you got multiple screw holes uh, to match whatever you need and they will attach to that so you can go horizontal and vertical side. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try and clean some of this up here right away. I'll clean some of this up and uh, we'll start putting it together. Okay, so one quick thing is uh, lots of screws um, coming uh, all basically divided in a plastic thing. So all those are all nicely separated. Instructions are in with the tripod. And uh, looks like it's a big poster essentially as opposed to a booklet. It's hard to open one-handed, frankly. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, yeah, so various instructions. So basically they're just you're getting your your tripod set up first, and then your um, you'll attach the horizontal piece to the tripod, get that all sorted out. Half well, I guess it's going vertical here. So basically you'll get the whole tripod piece set up, attach the or the horizontal the vertical struts on your TV and put it all together and uh, screw it down. So that's the basic idea. I'll do a couple steps here and uh, come back. So I kind of stood the tripod up on the uh, table here. Uh, yeah, so this will be part of the adjustment for heights and a peg, basically, uh, that you'll be able to lock this thing in where you need it to be. Uh, but we'll get a little bit more into that, but just kind of wanted to show it is a fairly sturdy metal thing. There's these are plastic though, so that is something to watch for, but that is what it is. There's another screw knob right here for obviously tightening how far out the legs go. And uh, yeah, how far out do the legs go? Yeah, so the legs go up pretty far. You can get a pretty nice base. It may impact the height you can go uh, because of it, but that's uh, the legs can go pretty far. Yeah, so I've turned it around so I can get a better look at it. So yeah, this one here tightens your tripod legs and helps when you change that height adjustment up and down from there. There's also an inner tube that goes up and down and that tightens that. And uh, yeah, you can put the peg on in there, I think. Yeah, the peg goes in there once you get it where you want it to be. So that's good. That is one thing you can see. It's not like continuous holes for the peg to go in there are certain set spots. So it won't be infinitely adjustable uh, in there if you're gonna use the peg. If you're just using the screw and you're trusting that, then yeah, you can change it a lot. But if you're wanting that extra security, you have some limitations. One thing to say is there are two sets of top holes uh, right at the top of that sliding bar that goes up and down. And that's where uh, this will attach the uh, essentially go like like that it'll probably be turned 90 degrees but um, that kind of idea that's where that will go we'll get that set up next okay so that first piece is on long uh, black bolts go straight through see there's an arrow that goes to the top that's in the instructions there and it just uh, bolts inside um, I mean the included uh, wrench works but uh, if I had to do a lot of these bolts, I would go and get uh, basically my socket set to make this faster. One thing you will notice is that there, when this bracket goes on, it is angled. It just is the way it is. Okay, so got to the next step here. Putting the uh, horizontal piece on. It's uh, four bolts. Uh, washers, metal washers here on this side. Between it and the stand in behind that we put in the last step, there are plastic washers. If I can get anything in shot here, and then then we got metal washers and the uh, the nuts. Okay, so here's the back of my TV. Uh, it's a LG 50 inch. You can see here's the vest mount holes. Dunk, dunk, dunk. I also still got the legs on it. Those are. Probably not actually going to be in the way, but it's going to look hokey as heck. So we'll get those legs off and then we'll start putting the brackets on it. Yeah, so the brackets will go. So you can kind of see here that they have the long, see here you get the longer gaps at the bottom and just holes at the top. That also makes sense with these hooks at the top. I suspect what they'll do is we'll put this on here. It'll get mounted where it needs to be and this then gets hooked onto this rail and screwed tight. That's my guess. 
we'll see as we get further along. But first, let's get these darn legs off. Okay, I got the legs off. I put the screws back in the holes so I wouldn't lose them. The legs themselves I put uh, away where I've got um, some old monitor stands and things like that, so I won't lose those either. So the next step here is to mount these vertical pieces. Now, they basically say to start with um, the bottom and put it in the last of the long holes. They actually have it right to the bottom, right there. That does extend it quite a ways up on the TV, um, but that does appear to be the way they want it. Well, look at that. That does seem a little high to me. That uh, might make the TV a little higher than I'm hoping. But anyway, we'll, we'll work with that. Um, so the screws it says to use are MA or MB and an MF washer. So the MF washer is right there. Not a big deal. MA and MB are different size bolts. So we just got to figure out which one will fit in my holes. Looking at it, I'm suspecting it's going to be the MAs. I'll get those out. I was incorrect. It was the MBs. I'll take that. I test threaded it before I started mounting anything. Okay, so yeah. I put it as far down as it would go, as it shows there. Now the problem is, when I do that, and I take it all the way up, the screw does not quite line up. So I do need to make an adjustment. Okay, so there. Two screws in. Looks like majority of 5B is if you're going to mess around with different spacing and sizing on your TV. If it's a, not a real flat back or things like that. So I'm just going to put the other one on and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I got both of them on there. Uh, space the same. So it should hang level. Next step is essentially to get this guy in place. So yeah, so what it's going to do is um, these hooks right here on all, all of them will go over the top lip on this and then it will, so you just kind of clip it in like that and then underneath you will screw in these screws and this flat piece will go kind of go right against this bar underneath and get screwed in tight. So this uh, shouldn't go anywhere. That's the idea. So uh, we'll get this on there and we'll show again. Okay, I've got it resting on top here. You can see the screw down here still needs to be tightened. But uh, yeah, I've got it basically centered. The nice thing is, is I had this screw hole and the TV nice and centered. I was able to just uh, kind of line it up with there's almost a, a weld mark or something like that right there, um, or right there, that uh, is about center. Okay, that seems to be about as low it'll go. Um, yeah. So this is kind of where it sits on me, about chest height. I'm 6'2", so it gives you a bit of an idea. And I'll put it up as high as I can get it to go. So that's now about as high as I can get it to go. I'm not sure I would trust it right here because I don't have the secure pin in right where it is, that kind of thing. But yeah, what's this about? five to six inches less than my 6.2. So it's not bad. It's maybe a little wobbly. Not awful though. If we're gonna use it outside though, I will uh, bungee cord it to something so it won't go flying. But anyway, we'll uh, give these a few tries. Um, so basically everything's still accessible. You can get to all my ports here and here. So that's all good. Uh, power outlet over here. So that is the trick, is if I decide to add a fire stick, then I'll just plug in down here, that's fine. Um, it does have a USB port, I don't, I'll have to see if the fire stick would charge off that. If it doesn't, uh, I'll just need to use a power bar here instead of just an extension cord for the power. I'd have to use a power bar and an extension cord, that kind of thing. But uh, it's not bad, I'm gonna get this set to kind of where I think I want it and uh, see how hard it is to move it. I suspect that's about where I'm gonna put it, fairly low. Just to be a little safer, it is actually sturdier with the legs out a little further like that, so I'm not minding that. Let's see how hard this is going to be to lift. So we, uh, of course, we have a bunch of metal, and then the TV itself, which is not particularly light. Like I said, it's a 50 inch, 
So, yeah. Okay. So I can move it up and down. It is top heavy when you don't have it sitting on the tripod, so that is something to be careful of. Probably a two-person job to move this anywhere, which, uh, yeah, which makes sense. Um, yeah, so I mean, should be able to do what I need to do though. Should be able to get through a door frame, should be able to move it where I need to, and uh, should all be good. Fairly happy with that. I'm gonna have to put it somewhere, give it a try, see how it looks outside, uh, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. It seems to be fairly rugged. We'll have to see after I move it a few times, see how well it does. But uh, yeah, I thought about getting one with wheels um, just to be able to move it around a little bit easier. But it also seems like then wind could move it around a little easier or the, uh, the kids could decide they need to move the TV and uh, when we're out of TV. Anyway, so <laughs> we're gonna give that a try. Um... Okay, so this is kind of what this is all about. Here's the TV out here on the stand. Not quite as low as it could go. It's here in the gazebo right now. Nice little view here. But the idea is tonight we will come out, we will have a fire in our fire ring, and then we'll watch a little bit of shows, uh, the kids and I. So that'll be kind of cool. So yeah, what I've got here is the TV that I've been talking about. Some power coming out there. And get the fire stick hook it up. And they're just going up to this power bar that I've got temporarily stuck up temporarily stuck up there. Going into uh, the power I've got run to the gazebo here. So yeah, it works pretty good. It's uh it's nice. I realized I didn't record an outro for this. Um, so yeah, uh, here is the TV on the stand. Uh, it's near the treadmill right now. This is just where we're storing it. Um, I have uh, plans of what to do with that. Uh, I'm doing some streaming while I'm running on the treadmill, that kind of stuff. Um, so some plans there, but I do, uh, we did try this outside. Uh, we saw that, probably just saw that video clip. It's cool, uh, super awesome. Uh, the TV is still a bit of a pain in the butt itself because it keeps shutting off and its USB port does charge the Amazon Fire Stick, which is great. But when it does the shut off, it also loses power to the to the Fire Stick, to the USB port. So the Fire Stick reboots. So you got to get all the way back into whatever streaming app you're using and restart your show from where it was. It's a pain in the butt. So um, just because this TV itself is the way it is, uh, will uh, basically run a, uh, uh, basically a USB charger to uh, the fire sticks to charge it and power it up so that if the TV drops off and comes back. Uh, we may just have to, you know, rewind 10 seconds on the video instead of having to restart everything. It'll be less frustrating. It is cool. It is heavy uh, to move because, I mean, the TV's not at light itself. It is, you know, the it's not like moving a big old CRT TV, but it's uh, it's not the lightest thing ever. Uh, so it does take that, and then uh, with all the steel tubing, uh, it is not light either. So I did try moving the TV outside once um, with everything kind of all together, and yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Um, I didn't wreck anything, that kind of stuff, but it's definitely not something I would recommend, and... I mean, I'm a fairly hefty guy, do do uh, weightlifting, that kind of stuff, so I could do it, but I'm not going to do it because it's not smart. I'm not going to do it anymore. So that means that before I use it, I'm going to have to take the TV off, um, take it back, and basically take it out in two steps, take the TV out, take the stand out, and then put the TV back on and retighten a couple screws, uh, and then follow the same procedure in reverse to uh, basically bring it back. Uh, in the house when we're done, because we're not leaving it outside in the gazebo. Um, yeah, we just don't want wind, whip, wind whipping through there and causing us some grief. So what I need to do, ouch, as I kick stuff. So anyway, there's, there is the two screws, one on either side there, 
that those are basically with those screwed in, the TV will not come off. So um, what we need to do basically each time is unscrew both of these two screws, um, lift the TV off, uh, take the TV out, then bring the stand out, put the TV on, tighten those screws back in. So yeah, it's uh, it's good. Uh, it's pretty cool. The kids thought it was pretty awesome. A couple steps required to do it, but um, it's, yeah. And the TV itself's a little frustrating, uh, but that's, if I can kind of work around that enough, it makes it a uh, pretty fun thing to do with the kids, and it wasn't that expensive to do that uh, that change. And it's, uh, in the end, I know, like, we were talking uh, around the family about trying to find a really expensive little projector to have out by a pool because it'd be cool to watch a movie by the pool, that kind of stuff. I've been concerned of what I could find and what would be the quality and then still having to get the screen and all that kind of stuff. This stand is way less expensive than uh, uh, even doing an inexpensive projector and stuff like that. So um, as long as we can work around the TV decide and shut off on its own, I think we're ahead and it's going to be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.